Greetings, Science Maximites. Welcome to Science Max <coughs> Experiments at Large. My name is Phil, and today we're going to be looking at the power of mag magnets. You see, magnets are fun things to experiment with because they are really, OK, they're really interesting. Um, this magnet that I've got here is a neodymium magnet, or a rare earth magnet. It's one of the oh, one of the one of the strongest magnets you can get. Um, a magnet is an object that is attracted to uh, anything that is ferromagnetic, which is iron, nickel, or cobalt, and. Mag magnets are interesting because they have two sides. There are two. Uh, oh, there are two poles. I'd show you, but I can't get the chain off. Hold on one second. Ha ha! Mm. There are two. Oh no. There are two poles to every magnet, uh, just like the Earth. There is a North Pole and a South Pole. That's right, the Earth is a giant magnet. So if you take kitchen magnets, you'll find that there's two different poles. I've written North and South on these ones. They don't normally come like that. If you put the North and the South together, they stick. But if you put the North and North or South and South together, they repel. They repel. See, they don't want to go together at all. And you can force them together if you want, but if you do, they will spring away the second you let them go. <laughs> but when magnets repel each other, I find that some of the most interesting stuff. Check this out. This is just a small container, and I've got a magnet in here, and I have a loony attached to it so that it fits nicely in the container like that. For the top, I've attached two magnets together, and I have another coin on it. And if you put them in there, I've made sure that the two poles repel each other, which means this magnet will just sit there and float. Magnetic levitation. Very interesting. And you can pop the top on that if you want and just carry around a levitating magnet. Now, there's a couple fancier ways you can levitate stuff with magnets. This is just a wooden frame I've made. Uh, this is completely not necessary. You can use just about anything in your house. A desk lamp works really well. The important part is I've tied a magnet to the end of this arm here, and this is a bolt, which is attracted to the magnet, but it's got a thread tied to it, so it can't get there just far enough that it will actually hang in mid-air. Look at that. It's not attached to anything. It's just being pulled up by the attraction from the magnet. The thing is, as soon as you pull the bolt away far enough, it will lose the attraction, and it'll just fall. Very cool. Here's one that's a little bit more complicated, but is also really neat. This one uses disc magnets, which have a circle or a hole in the middle of them here. And you put two around a pencil, and then four more in such a position that you can put the pencil against this wood on the side, and it will just levitate on its own. You can even give it a spin. Look at that. <laughs> 